Hi beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I've got a dear friend and my friend's mum, Jo. Hello. Because it's Mother's Day today. So we're doing a Mother's Day inspired treat a mother. Yeah, type of thing. Since my mum lives in Denmark, this is my substitute for today, my mother's substitute for today. So I'm gonna be doing Jo's makeup. We're going to go for a glam look. We've already prepped her skin. We used a face mask from Garnier, the super hydrating one, just to prep the skin and some moisturizer. And yeah, I'm gonna be talking through it. So it's not, you know, not as short as usual, but um, yeah, we're just gonna get started. We're gonna start with the eyes. And as you know, I like to start with my e.l.f. Cosmetics eye primer. Right, if you just close your eyes. It's quite up to apply a bit of pressure. Yeah, there we go. I use my finger because then it blends in, like the warmth of your finger blends it better. Now I'm going to use these two colours from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Just to go into the crease of the eye. <clears throat> Do you enjoy having your makeup done? Some people don't like when they, other people touch their face. No, I'm fine. Um, it's, a, it's a treat. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. The last night was my birthday over a year ago when you did it. I can do it more often than that. I mean, Ella sometimes goes, oh, I'm going out tonight. Can I pop over and have my makeup done? I'm like, oh, sure, come on over. Yeah, that's a compliment. She tried to pay me once and I was like, nope, take it back. Can you just raise your eyes a bit? Thank you. So now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 15N Night Mask Palette with this color. And just deepen up the crease a bit. I'm gonna go in with the same brush. Yeah, if you could just raise your eyes a little bit. Sorry. I was thinking I was nodding off. It was, <laughs> it was really therapeutic. Right, so now we're going to go in with a dark colour into the corner of the eyes to give it the smoky look. And with that, I'm going to be taking this colour from the same Morphe 15N Night Master palette and taking my pencil brush from MAC. As you know, the numbers have changed, but it's the smallest pencil brush. And just take that and put it into the corners of the eyes. And you're almost trying to create like a V shape in the outer corner. And I like to drag that a bit into the crease of the eye just to kind of blend it in a bit. Give it some depth. And I'm just going to get my fluffy brush and blend it out. I want a bit more darker, so now I'm going to go in with another Morphe palette, if I can. I'm going to go in with this colour from the Morphe 25B Bronze Mocha palette. And with the same pencil brush, I'm just going to take that you want a drama, you're going to get <laughs> like some drama. This. I love doing these kinds of looks. It's fun. Awesome. And then with the same fluffy brush, I'm going to blend it in. Open. Can you close? the other one. Now to add a bit more sparkle and drama we're going to add some yeah a nice metallic colour and I'm feeling a bit of bronzy gold so we're going to add two colours just add a bit of depth and I'm going to first colour I'm going to add is this one from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to use my fingers because I feel like that gives it, fingers with the warmth of your fingers makes it blending, makes the pigment come out a bit 
better. And I'm just going to add that into the inner corner and center of the eye. And then just to make it pop, I'm gonna add a bit of gold. So with that, I'm going to take from the same Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to take this color. And then with a brush, I'm going to take this brush from MAC. And with a bit of Fix Plus, I'm just gonna spray it because as you know, that brings out, mm -hmm. let's speak. I'll just squeeze <laughs> it. <laughs> it, adds, it brings out the metallic pigment. You can use water, but this makes it stay on longer. Okay. It's literally, that product mm -hmm. is the end all for everything, I love it. So I'm just gonna pick that up. And add that to the actual, more into the inner corner. And then I'm just going to use my fluffy brush and blend it out. Open. And then Jo loves eyeliner. So for Jo, we're going to do some eyeliner and we're going to use the Double Wear Stay In Place Eye Pencil from Estee Lauder in the color 01 Oix. Black, basically, black. Posh word for black. And on the other end, it's got a smudger, if you can see there. We might use that just to smudge out a bit on the outer corner to give it a bit more of a smoky effect. Right, yeah, if you can like keep your eyes like that mm. so it's tight and then I'm gonna just pull a little bit and make so I can keep it straight as possible. And now we're going to apply mascara. And one thing I feel like when you do mascara, unless obviously you work in a makeup shop and you have different applicators, like new ones, you shouldn't use other people's mascara because your eyes are really sensitive and that can actually give you like, I know people have had conjunctivitis and all sorts of stuff like that. So we're gonna use Joe's own mascara for this. And Joe uses They Are Real by Benefit, which is actually a really good one. The best I've found. It is natural, but also yeah. good black, yeah. Good. We're going to do the lashes off camera <laughs> because we could be here a while. So when we're done, we'll be back. <laughs> so I've done, we've done the lashes and we've done the brows off because, you know, just could be here a while otherwise. So now I'm gonna go in and clean up under the eyes and do, this is why I do eyes before foundation because you end up with a lot of fallout that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much you bake, it will still be there. And I'm also gonna just clean up around the brows to make sure that they are how I want them. And then if you open your eyes. And if we see here, that's what you get off. And that's why I do my eyes first. Right, next. We're going to do the face. And we're going to use Benefit Poor, Poor Professional. Yeah, I'm sort of saying that right. Primer. I'm waiting for it to get the gloves up. And I just put a pea size amount on the top of my hand, like this and pop that onto the skin. I like this one because it does actually literally smooth out your pores. Really silky. And they do a pearl. Got really nice, got really nice skin. Sorry, get the fringe, <laughs> get the fringe back. Right. Got this little one here that won't go away, that little white mark. That's all at the moment. I was going to say, I can't see anything. Once you've done primer, I'm going to go in with foundation. So I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation in the colour Light. And it's a really full coverage foundation. That's what we're using it today is because we're going to glam. We're going to use this brush here from Bare Minerals. And then we're gonna use a beauty blender in afterwards to push it into the skin. <laughs> I 
This literally perfectly matches your skin tone. Do you ever do your ears? No. That's because your hair's are in front of front yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, well, if you have your hair up, because people always think about doing it under your neck, but if you don't do your ears, then you end up with like Line, lines. lines, like white ears. There you go. This side. <laughs> find, find, find your ear. So now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Just get a bit of extra and just dab it into the little fine areas around the nose. I don't do too much of foundation around the eyes because I'm going to end up contouring at some point anyway. My mum found that it was the contour that got rid of her. Like she's got smile lines as well around her eyes. What do you mean by contour? This looks sponge. When the contour is when you just relax your head. Is when you put the dark and light shades to you know to under your eyes and you contour around here. Glittery fluff. Oosh, I'll show you. Right. Okay. We're gonna <laughs> now we're gonna contour. I've never done this. This is fun. So I always go in with a darker colour first, just because I think that it's easier to blend the light on contour on top. So we're going to be using the Prep and Prime BB Cream in the colour, I can never find the colour, brown. I'm gonna go for <laughs> the colour brown. This colour here. And with my Real Techniques brush, stippling brush, we're going to contour Joe's face. Now, I'm just gonna moisten it up a little bit. Well, it's a bit dry otherwise, I feel like. Wow. Right. You want bronze, we're gonna get bronze. Can you <laughs> do that so I can see where your cheekbones are? <laughs> I can't do a fish face. Okay, no, no, okay, so it's just under here, that's fine. You can relax now, there we go. Right, don't look at yourself while I've got all of it on because you're going to look at, like you've got tribal marks on your face. My dad was like, you look ridiculous. I'm like, just blend it in. So this is your cheekbones. This does any, well, I've got loads of double chins, so I always do it under here, but you don't really have a double chin, but this covers anything up that you might not want shown under there. Sorry, you need to do it again. Oh. Oh no, actually I can see it. it's just here, that's fine. A lot of people say you do the three, which is like th three. I'm not um, gonna do your forehead. I will do a little bit on your forehead, but I won't do actual contour, I'll just bronze it up. Because if no one's gonna see it anyway. Okay. And then under here. I'm going to blend it in a bit with a brush and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend it out a bit more. Beauty blender. That's actually what it's called, that's what she's called it. See, like this does take a long time, so I do not do this every day, I don't have the uh, patience for it. But right now I'm going to go, like a, go into London like on a night out. When Sophie was here I did it, because mm. we were just glamming up together. And I'm going to go now with my beauty blender and just blend it out just... a bit. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Sorry. what I do with my mum, that's fine. My leg's gone dead. And now we're going to go and with a concealer and highlight. Sorry. <laughs> you don't like sitting like that? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I'll go back. <laughs> I sit like that all the time, but I don't, I'm not really. Do you know? oh. We're going to go in with the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer, which I think is taken over from the wake me up because that's what I tried to buy and this is what I got instead in the colour ivory I think that's it. and we're going to highlight under the eyes the nose the temples so like the t-zone area and then under the jawline to give it more of a cut a bitch look I like it I like when you've got cheekbones and cut a bitch Do you ever use concealer under the eyes? No. This is what my mum found, got rid of her wrinkles. I don't know. You don't know concealer? No. If 
you do like if you bring it down like this like a triangle so like along there down and then like blend around that's what basically gets rid of lines okay i bring it up just to clean up the my shadow then i take a bit and i draw under where i've done that i'll blend that out later then i do down the nose and you've got a nice like small nose like it's really thin just do a bit up here it's basically where the light if the light hits you that's where you highlight top of your lip chin don't do very much on the chin and I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna go with the beauty blender and blend that in and now because we've done that we're just gonna go in with the bronzer and I know have a quick look oh my goodness actually no we're gonna do powder first we're gonna do powder first we're going to go in with powder just to set the concealer and we're going to go in with the Hello Flawless by Benefit in the colour Ivory and then my big fluffy powder brush and just go in and set that so I'm just going over now what I've just done with the concealer Now I'm going to go in and bronze up on top of the contour just to set it and to give more of a bronze over the face and with that I'm going to use the Studio London contour brush and a bit of hula and then we'll go in the top with a bit of bronze of yours at the end. And now we're going to go in with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in the colour Light. And this, what's this? Oh, Tom, oh. Tom Ford 05 Big Fluffy Brush. And Joe loves a good to be bronzed, so we're going to just bronze up a little bit on where it might be a bit more. I'm going to just bronze up here because I know you don't like being too white I'm going over everywhere that I would like highlight it but then just browning it browning it up a little bit oh my god it's such a massive brush that I, I love it just love it get anywhere with it I'm like brushing your eyes do you feel bronzed enough I feel bronzed enough okay it's lovely up. and last but not the least we're going to oh no 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 before we do that we're going to do lip so now for your lips I'm going to use do my, my classic nude because I think that's just delish to start off with I'm going to be lining the lips with the NYX matte suede lip liner in the colour Cans which I think I've used in a lot of my videos yeah just so it's like as pulled out as possible so I can just get like I just touched your teeth, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> and once you've lined the lips, we're going to go in with the Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, which you all know is my favourite. Literally. Charlotte Tilbury, if you ever want to sponsor me, gladly. And then we're going to go in with the Lock Lip Gloss in the colour Beam. Just to add a bit more, you know, spice to the glam. Oh, I'm really digging my look, I'm not going to lie. And then to finish it all off, we're going to go with a highlight. So now, I started using this Essence Moon Lighter Cushion from Clay. You guys have this as well, don't you? Now, I didn't like it when I reviewed it in my Birchbox review, but actually, now that I've used it, I'm obsessed. 
So it comes with a little like mirror compact, a little sponge, and then it, with a firm hand, opens up, and then you just dab it on the sponge and it comes off and then you apply to the face. Now I like to blend it in after the beauty blender, but I'm gonna just do a bit of this on your cheekbones. If you just bring your head down, there we go, then I can see that. Oh, I just add a bit to your nose. And then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender again and blend that in to the skin. And then you know my favourite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just gonna go on top with that and then other parts of the face. And we're going to be using the colour 143, because that's a nice bronze. Add a bit of glow, you know. And with my fan brush, large fan brush. I'm gonna be adding that in on top of what we just did. Oh, I just, think, I just love that, glow. I just love it. I think, I'm like, oh my God, that glow. Okay. I'm going here, sorry, I had to decide that what I was gonna do. And then using my smaller little fluffy brush that I use for highlighting, I'm going to add it to the tip of the nose. Down the bridge of the nose or the centre of the nose. In the inner, in the tear ducts, which is the inner corner of your eyes, if you close your eyes. Keep them closed, I'm just gonna make sure your eyes look bigger and brighter. And then I'm going to apply it under the brow bone. And then Cupid's bow. If you just relax, then I can And then do your lips again, then it will. Yeah, like that. And I would say we're done. I'm just going to put some Fix Plus on and spray your face. So if we just. Right, it feels like we've done. I think I've done this too before, haven't I? And then I'll waft it in afterwards. Oh, I think you look so nice. What do you think? Do you like it? It's a lot heavier than I'm used to. Yeah. I feel quite glamorous. Yeah, you do look glam. <laughs> I feel like... For 51, that's not bad, is it? Not. It <laughs> doesn't look 51, I don't think. I'm not as ridiculous, but yeah. Happy? Nice. Really nice. Thank you. Good. Thank You're you. welcome. So that was my Mother's Day <laughs> treat for Jo doing her makeup. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for doing my makeup. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Mwah.